Let's solve for volume. This is another calculation you'll do a lot in construction. I'm going to read this word problem, then we're going to set it up, and then we'll solve it. A lot needs to be graded before construction can start. 247 cubic yards of dirt need to be removed from this site. If a truck can haul 14 cubic yards per load, how many truck loads will it take for the entire job? So what we know is that there's a total of 247 cubic yards to remove, and we know that one truck load is gonna be 14 cubic yards. The question is how many loads? So we're gonna take our 247 cubic yards and divide it by the 14 per truck, and it's gonna give us the number of loads. So 247 divided by 14 cubic yards is going to be 17.64 loads. And that's almost 18 loads, and we can't do a partial load, so we're gonna call it 18 truck loads. So we'll have to move that dirt 18 times. Let's go ahead and divide some fractions. We do this in construction all the time. I'm gonna go ahead and read this word problem and then we're gonna solve for it. We need to make three and a half inch wide strips from a sheet of OSB. Considering an eighth inch blade curve lost from the material for each cut, how many pieces can we get out of a 48 inch panel? So this would be a situation where we needed to decide how many parts we can make considering these fractions and all of these dimensions. So the way we're gonna set this up is we're gonna start with our 48 inch panel and we need to divide it by our three and a half inch strip that we're trying to make, but we need to add to that our eighth inch blade curve. So we need to add the three and a half to the eighth inch and then divide it by 48. So the next thing we need to do is, if we're adding those two fractions together, they need to have common denominators. So we'll change our three and a half to three and four eighths. That's going to match our one eighth. So now that we have our denominators matching, we can add these two fractions together. So we have three and four eighths plus one eighth, that's gonna be three and five eighths. Now that we've solved that part of the equation, we can now divide 48 by three and five eighths. That's going to give us a solution of 13 and a quarter pieces. Let's divide some more fractions. In this case, the problem is going to be a staircase. Here's what we know. We know that the full height of the staircase is gonna be nine feet, one half an inch. We also know that we're going to have 14 equal steps or stairs in that staircase. The question now is, what is the height of each one of these steps? So to solve for this one, we're going to turn our nine feet, one half inch into an inch only measurement. This is going to be a mixed numeral that's going to multiply our nine feet times 12 inches. That's gonna give us the number of inches in nine feet, which is going to be 108. And then we're gonna to add to that our original half of an inch. So the total height of that staircase it's going to be 108 and a half inches. Now that we have our inch only measurement, which represents the total height of the staircase, we want to divide 108 and a half by 14, which is the number of steps in that staircase. What this will give us is seven and three quarters, which is the measurement of each single and equal step. So what that means is we're going to have 14 stairs that are seven and three quarters inches high, all equal, and when you add them all up, you're gonna end up with your nine feet, half an inch. In construction, it's often that we have multiples of the same dimension, and when those add up, that's the same as multiplying a fraction. So let's go ahead, I'll read this problem, and then we'll solve it. A staircase has 10 equal steps, running from the first floor to the second floor. So we have a staircase there. If each step is seven and a half inches high, what is the total height of the staircase between the first and second floors? So we're basically adding up all of these stairs. We're stacking them and they're seven and a half inches and there's 10 stairs. To set this up, we're going to multiply 10 times each stair tread. We're assuming that these stairs are equal. One way to solve this would be to make a fraction out of each one of these numbers. So we're going to put a one under the 10, that's converting our 10 to 10 over one, that's our fraction there. Then we can multiply it times 15 over two. 15 over two is gonna be seven and a half inches converted to an improper fraction. When we multiply these fractions together, we're gonna to get 150 over two. 
And to solve for this, we can divide 150 by two. That's gonna give us our 75 inches. So what this tells us is that if we have 10 stairs that are seven and a half inches tall, they're going to add up from the ground floor to the second floor, a total of 75 inches in height. Let's solve a similar problem, and this time we're going to look at an illustration. What you see here is a staircase, and we have 12 stairs in this situation, and we have a, a stair, each stair is equal. They're gonna be seven and a quarter inches each. The question now is what are the total height of the staircase if we multiply each stair, or the number of stairs, by the height for each stair? So you're going to set this up with 12, times seven and a quarter, that's gonna be 12 stairs, and each one is seven and a quarter inches tall. So we would do the same here. We would make each number into a fraction. So that would be 12 over one times 29 over four. So we're taking our seven and a quarter and we are making that into an improper fraction. When we multiply 12 over one times 29 over four, we're gonna end up with a really funny looking fraction which is 348 over four. All we need to do to solve for this now is to divide 348 by the four, which is gonna give us 87, which is inches, and that's the height of the staircase overall. This video is a production of Trade Skills U, all rights reserved.